my name is Vivian Gonzalez and I'm a senior here at Savannah High School and in the fall I will be attending UCLA and I plan to major in biology. Hi, my name is James Yellow and I'm currently a senior at Savannah High School and I will be attending the University of California Berkeley in the fall. I'm not actually sure what I want to study for sure, for certain, but um, something I'm really interested in is going into the humanities field for major. Hi, I'm Carlos Duarte and I'm a senior at Savannah High School and I plan to attend Cal Poly Pomona in the fall where I plan to study business. My name is Rianne Vare. I am part of Savannah's class of 2017 and next fall I will be studying biology at UC Santa Barbara. I definitely say that one of my biggest motivations in, to attend a four-year college was to essentially grow personally for me because I feel like throughout high school I've had a lot of people help me and then so just I'm really grateful for that don't get me wrong but I think going to a four-year there's a lot of opportunity that requires me to take like the initiative to do things more on my own rather than depend on others to do the help. I think my biggest motivation for attending a four-year college would definitely be meeting my mom's standard because both of my parents attended four-year universities outside of the United States. And I know she wanted me to excel far, so I wanted to be at least in a four-year range. My biggest supporters at home would definitely be my parents. I can't remember an event of mine they didn't attend. They're always there and they're always there to back up every decision I make and were always my cheerleaders throughout all of high school. It's hard for me to identify a supporter at home because they've all, all of my family members have supported me in the decisions I've made which have allowed me to grow as an adult and they've gotten me to where I am now. My biggest supporter at home has by far, like without a doubt, has been my mom. Um, I know that there's been a lot of days where I've just came home really discouraged or I didn't come up with the happiest expression on my face and my mom could tell right away and so she would ask me things simple things that any mother would do like are you hungry uh, like what's wrong how was your day just simple things like that but it's not just that um, I feel like she's been the one person who's always believed in me my biggest support system here at school has definitely been my group of friends even though it's switched around a few times I know there's a few people that I can go to no matter what and they'll support whatever decision I make and it's just comforting knowing I have people here my biggest supporters at school have been the Gear Up, the Gear Up tutors because they've always encouraged me um, and pushed me so I could um, bring out the best of myself. And also I would say um, my counselor because she has always been there for me when I needed her the most. I think the biggest obstacle I had to overcome to get into the college of my choice would definitely be trying to balance school, extracurriculars, and my homework. That got really hard during sophomore year and I didn't do really good that year, but those stressful moments are what got me to where I am right now. There were definitely a lot of obstacles that I faced throughout my four years at Savannah that I had to overcome to get into the college of my choice, which were things like taking the right classes or having space for the right classes, make, making sure I can balance my work, my extracurriculars, my studies. It was, it's a lot, but I, I managed and I'm happy with where I am now. Ah, so when I found out I was accepted to UC Berkeley, I actually, I really didn't believe it. Um, I had just woken up from a nap and then, you know how your eyes are really groggy when you wake up? I felt like it was like a dream because my friend had just texted me that she got into Berkeley and so I was really, really happy for her of course, but in the back of my mind I was thinking, oh okay, I didn't get in UCLA, I didn't get in USC, let me just take third loss, it's no big deal, I already got into some pretty good schools that I'm happy with. And then I checked my phone after getting up from my nap and I got in. The moment I got accepted to UCLA, it was a little bit of a shock because I was kind of hesitant to even apply because I really didn't think I was gonna get in. But when I found out, I was super excited. I immediately told my parents, 
and it's UCLA, you know, like who isn't happy to get into UCLA? I was just filled with so much happiness, I can't even believe it. The moment I found out I got accepted to Cal Poly Pomona, I felt a lot of joy because I'm going to be the first one in my family and also because I was able to realize that all the hard work that I put in throughout the four years of high school had finally paid off. My biggest piece of advice for the juniors next year would be don't procrastinate. Just make sure that you're using your time effectively and make sure you spread out all your work evenly. Don't stress out too much. You'll be, everything will be fine in the end. Just make sure that you're on top of your things next year. Some advice that we give to the juniors would be to start looking at the UC prompts now and start brainstorming some ideas, start writing some personal statements. Obviously your ideas are gonna change, but at least you have an idea to start off with and from there you just build on that. The advice I would give to current freshmen and sophomores if they plan to attend a four-year college is to believe in themselves, to prepare, and to never give up on their dreams. For freshmen and sophomores who are interested in attending a four-year college, I would definitely say to start visiting the college they can as early as possible because once you go to visit different colleges, that's when you start to imagine yourself on campus and you imagine how you would get involved on campus, what things you're interested in learning, whether the campus vibe is something that would fit you or not. And so for me at least, those were some aspects that drove me to want to try harder in my academics. And I think visiting colleges definitely helped to motivate you more to do better in school. Um, what I'm most excited about for going to college in the fall is definitely dorming because I've never like gone out and been by myself before. So it's going to be a really good experience and I know people always recommend dorming the first year so I'm excited. What excites me the most about attending college in the fall is um, meeting new people with the same mindset and goals as I have and also to um, discover myself and grow more as a student and gain more knowledge. What I'm most excited about going to college at Berkeley in the fall this year is the relationships I get to form in college because I actually just met um, both of my roommates last week, so one's from Seattle and one's from Australia, and that was really out of my comfort zone because as a Californian, I felt like I would have wanted two roommates in California, but um, just going with people who are out of state, who, have, who were raised in a completely different environment than I was, and being able to surround myself with their perspective and all the different perspectives at Berkeley, uh, I'm really excited to see how that's going to go. and then. The relationships I'm going to build in college, I really hope that they're going to last me a lifetime. So those are what I'm looking forward to, definitely. The thing that most excites me about attending UCLA in the fall is meeting a bunch of new people and exposing myself to a diverse environment. And also, I'm going to be dorming with two other people from Savannah, so I'm really excited to get closer to them. And another thing I'm excited about is just expanding on my learning and getting to get those interactions with people and make connections. I see myself in four years as a college graduate with a bachelor's degree in business pursuing my career. Four years from now, I see myself growing a lot from how I am now. In four years, I see myself graduating from UCLA and applying to medical school. I hope to become an oncologist or a pediatrician. Hopefully in four years from now, I will be graduating with my bachelor's. I do want to pursue in higher education. Um, if I do end up being a doctor in the, the bio field and everything, then hopefully I'm working towards that. If I end up changing my mind, hopefully I'm comfortable with where I'm settled. It's just, I'm excited for the future and hopefully I'm, I'm just happy.